What can we do with the nerves in our body? I like to think of muscles as bags of meat on our body. Then we have these sturdy structures that are bones that are hard and that our bags of meat can hang on. And then we have our fascia, which is basically these envelopes of spider webbing that kind of pulls everything together and keeps it together. And the idea is that if you're creating a robot with bones and muscles and fascia, how do we get that robot to have AI? So you can put a computer inside of its skull that can think and do things. And so you can send these little strings from the computer through to all the different muscles in the body. And then the computer through those strings, which are the nerves, will be able to tell the muscles contract. We'll also be able to feel and say, how is the body doing through those nerves and bring it back to the computer? So it's like a, a communication highway that kind of looks like a tree where the spinal cord's going up and it's into the brain. You got this big puffy thing up here, but you got the spinal cord going down and then all the roots are going throughout the entire body. And it's just a beautiful thing that it can communicate so fast and so quickly. 